So, hello, welcome back everyone to another live stream live from China. I hope you can hear me good as today I use my, uh, my headset here. And uh, yeah, we're doing a live stream today to check out the shopping life and yeah, the shopping street here in, in China. I took my selfie stick today and uh, yeah, here we can see a lot of also international brands and I want to check out what's the situation over here now of H&M after this uh, Xinjiang um, case yeah, that also a lot of Chinese people they bought all the other international brands and now we have just a look at this beautiful beautiful um, Chinese shopping street just need to check my settings again if the audio is clear i think yes okay so later if you join this stream i'm just walking today a little bit here through the shopping street and as you can see we have no no mask just the way you come here with the with the bus or with the subway you have to wear some some mask and uh, but here in the shopping street normally all the yeah, the people they don't wear the mask anymore and we can see yeah, a lot of friends and shops and i can show you later also here in the front this is a very very long shopping street you can walk roughly half an hour and i can show you shortly in the settings for the camera we have here so this is actually in the front is the the whole shopping street and today we also we have very beautiful weather very clear sky so and then we just walk you through the shopping street and then let's see what we can what we can find here um, yeah we have of course a lot of people today there in the they went for shopping ah yes uh now i see the comments yeah of course there is a h m in the shopping street this is also what i talked before i want to check um what is the what is the situation of the international brands yeah for example we have also here an adidas store and later we will come also to an H&M store and uh, yeah, Adidas, as you see, is uh, here at the moment. So we, we can take a look, but I think they, of course, they are still open. But it seems they, uh, yeah, they have not so many customers at the moment. So here, Adidas, yeah, but at the moment, it seems there's nobody inside. Ah, yeah, YouTube. <laughs> so, also the first guest, say hello, yeah. Nihao. Hello, hello. <laughs> you many, speak English? How many, how many fans? Ah, at, um, at the moment, I have just uh, one one people live, <laughs> and okay. I just have 450 subscribers at the moment around. In this country, uh, Germany. Germany. Germany, yeah. yeah. Are you from Shenyang? I'm from Shenyang. Ah. Okay, great. Yeah, I've been watching uh, YouTube. Ah, okay. So you can also watch YouTube. Uh, yeah. and, and just need a VPN, yeah. Yes, but. <laughs> yes I have to be, use the VPN. Mm -hmm. so ah, okay. I can describe your, your channel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. VB uh, channel. Ah, you search uh, Pixmosphere. How to? Uh, P, you type, you P, type. Okay, I type. Do you live here? I live here. Yes. Since uh, here or here? Uh, I I work here. I don't know. Yeah, like this. And you can search. Ah, okay, right. Okay, yeah, this this channel. I see there like, so many. Ah, I see life. Yes. <laughs> so many foreigners uh, report uh, Chinese uh, situation. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I see that. Because you know, you when know, when you live in China, you, you need to there, spread the truth. You know yeah. what there is. 
yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. I also know him, yes. Yeah, and you know, and I, yeah, I think you also uh, follow up these cases about these Xinjiang uh, things. Xinjiang, yeah, that the West is talking about Xinjiang at the moment a lot. And uh, yeah, okay. just subscribe. Yeah, right. right. Subscribe. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So you can see also if you're walking here through the streets so of China. WeChat? WeChat? I have also WeChat, yeah. You can just leave me later a comment. You just can leave me later a comment on the stream. And then I uh, can connect with you because I have my WeChat here. Uh, you can search uh, okay. my name. You can search my name, actually. Okay. If you want to add me on WeChat. Okay. Uh, go to WeChat. I, I, I show it to you. And then... I think you just the start, huh? Yes. I think uh, not a long time. I'm here already. Um, How many years you stay in jail? Uh, already uh, since 2016. Okay. So five years. Yes. And I'm very. Oh, where's the. Which, which company you are working? Uh, Arnold. No? As in the word. Word. Word company. Which company? Word. Word. It's uh, Ushi Tai. No, Ushi Tai. Uh, we are working in the automotive industry. Automotive industry. Uh, let me check where is the the under the underline. Yeah, the, under, the underline. Yeah, down like that, and then it's, it's so complex. Yeah, yeah, my name is. <laughs> phone number is also okay. phone number. Okay, it's correct. Yes. Yeah, right. Oh, okay, okay. Thank I'm, you. I'm that guy. My name is Alan. 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 Yes. Okay. Alan. And, and we can we can chat later I'm, a little bit more. Yeah, okay. and I'm the international businessman. Ah, so okay, fun. great. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, thanks, okay. thanks for the conversation. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so sorry uh, for for this short short interruption. Uh, uh, it's very interesting and very cool that also. Um, uh, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, here you pointed out that these are using <laughs> illegal VPN. But you see, this this was not planned. Yeah, this was not. Uh, uh, this was just a random guy. Now he see me making a a live stream. So it seems yeah they are very very aware of the situation and uh, they they can also just use YouTube. I just share uh, with this guy my uh, my my widget and uh, yeah so. He has everything in English, so like you said, he's an international businessman. And then we can go first further here to uh, to the shopping street. So okay, we had Adidas. No, there are no people inside. Yeah, but we have also here Anta. Yeah, this is a um, can say another another Chinese uh, sports brand. Yeah, Anta Sports. And here definitely we can see there are more people inside currently and but then we have on the other side we have directly Puma and let's check out Puma what they can what they can do so what is this here Wu mouse Wu mouse are bad yeah sure uh, it depends um, if you if you are too too much a fan of of China, everyone will say you are Umau. So there are also a few people inside in uh, yeah in the in Puma in the Puma shop. So let's continue. We have here Baleno and some other Chinese brand. Uh, we have also here a big huge. Uh, Swiss Swiss watch watch brand and this uh, Mido and uh, just let's let's walk a little bit so this shopping street also it went through a huge um, makeover in the last years so um, yeah for, for uh, uh, the last years it was a little bit uh, yeah, not so not so nice. It was still uh, already a huge, huge area. Uh, 
Uh, the stream just stopped a little bit. Fish. Oh, sorry for the short interruption. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Chinese people, they are very friendly and outgoing. And uh, so let's see, the Anta, Anta Sports. Yeah, Liling. Yeah, Liling is also a Chinese brand, as I know. And then Fila, uh, Fila belongs to under sports now this is i think the experience what uh, many um foreign companies they they uh, they feel at the moment yeah that uh, the foreign brands western brands they get bought yeah by 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 some chinese some chinese brands and then it can happen that i don't know maybe you know h and m uh, when they don't feel so good they will also be bought Maybe I don't know by by a Chinese by a Chinese brand like Uniqlo or something. So here we have also another uh, yeah, big Adidas store and directly a Nike store. They mostly also located directly at each other. And uh, we can just have a short look. So here this shop is a little bit bigger and here you can see there are yeah, more more people of course still inside and also I think the in the Nike shop I will not walk now through all the through all the shops because I think the street is more interesting but also here uh, in the in the Nike store we have some yeah see Nike some some people they go in and out so they they have some business but uh, uh, mostly shopping street is yeah uh, you go out you can also eat some street food and uh, yeah, enjoy some some time with some friends and uh, as I said here we have also a very busy street with some uh, street food here in the in the night uh, they make a lot of a lot of barbecue here and uh, yeah, it's also a small street uh, yeah he said you should support foreign brands as a foreigner yeah of, of course um, I'm wearing 
the Nike shoes at the moment. And uh, but I think also that uh, Chinese brands they make uh, yeah they make good clothes, good shoes, whatever. Mostly uh, when when I go shopping here, um, I also I like actually yeah Nike, Nike a lot. I prefer Nike normally over uh, Adidas, and also I think Skechers is also a, a good brand. Their shops here are mostly a little bit bigger. So and then as you see here uh, today, there are a lot of a lot of people. And now soon we can cross the road to uh, to the next street. So this is actually a big intersection. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, so many Adidas shops. Yeah, they have quite a few. Mostly, when you see an Adidas shop, you will see directly also a Nike shop uh, nearby. And uh, I think maybe in this street they have like three or four Adidas stores just in this uh, yeah uh, street. And then it could be you enter some shopping malls and they have there are also Adidas stores. And they have actually Adidas uh, for, for adults and they have also kid stores for, for Adidas. So you can buy even for your small kids, you can buy directly the clothes, the shoes and uh, everything like that. And then here we are standing at the intersection and we need to cross the street. So they have also here several uh, yeah, subway entrances, uh, like this. This is a subway entrance. So we started from the from the other side, and now we can go through crossing the street. Pay a little bit attention for the for the traffic. So what else? You can see here uh, also police police presence uh, behind me every time in this streets there's a police car here just now and also they make here a lot of <laughs> decorations and yeah, police of course like in every country they pay attention and everything stay stay safe and what, come, what comes next? So we have here another subway entrance. Yeah, this is the logo of the Shenyang, Shenyang subway. Then we have here another Swiss Swiss brand for the watches. So, so Swiss watches, they are, I think, also famous in, uh, in China, also here in Shenyang, in the street. Else. And we have here another few brands, some Chinese people, they're having some fun with the, with the bull. So, I also hope that, uh, yeah, this shopping streets and this shopping life can come back to, to Europe and to Germany again. Now they to lock down everything more and more again i feel so 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 pity on my my german german uh, friends and luckily if you are living like my parents in the in the countryside it will not affect you too much you can still you know, order some food you can go normally to the to the forest uh, do some hiking and something like some things like that yeah, thanks, Ken. Yeah, now I'm back in Shenyang. Uh, still tonight, there will be some uploads still from Weijo uh, because I make a lot of footage there. And uh, yeah, it was quite an amazing experience. I think uh, next month I will travel again. So foreign brand, you mean foreign brand shops? Yeah. That's for sure. We have a lot of foreign 
French shops there. Yeah. Also here in the in the front, we have also a Fila shop directly coming. Hey, John, also joining my channel now. Thanks for watching. Uh, hey, Sebastian, I love visiting the shopping streets in Shenyang. How it gets better soon for all. Yeah, that's that's very true. I think so too, and I hope so too. And uh, yeah, John, he was just I think last week here in in Shenyang. I think in the, in the same street. That's why I think it is a good day today. And yeah, this shopping street is really interesting to walk through, as it's so huge, so big. Yeah, you, I think you also walk maybe 30 minutes <laughs> until you reach one end to another end. And uh, yeah, here's uh, the Fila, Fila shop, and directly with another sports sports shops, Armor Sports. I'm not so familiar with this brand. Yeah, that's right. If you just go out alone for a walk, it doesn't matter in which country now, it cannot hinder you from, from walking and it should also not hinder you of enjoying your life. Because that's the important, the most important thing actually for me in life. Yeah, you you should enjoy your life. You should create yeah, positive memories, and because that's everything what's left at the end, right? Positive memories. Uh, here we have another Adidas store. Okay, Fila is Chinese. Okay. Until now, I thought before it also is a foreign brand. Okay, yeah, Easter, Easter weekend for, for John. Oops, sorry. The stream is a little bit, has a little bit uh, small breaks in between. Marat, yeah, I hope um, if you lived in Shenyang before, for some time, I hope that you can also, you can come back. I love Shenyang. Shenyang is a, yeah, for me, it's an amazing city. Like I'm living here already since 2016. And uh, yeah, just last year I started uh, this channel to show people a little bit more around Shenyang. And I think, I hope that this year I can go also to my 1000 subscribers like uh, John. And that means I can, uh, show also a little bit more interesting places that can reach more people. So here we are standing on another intersection. And I hope I didn't miss the, the H&M store yet. It would be really just interesting to go, to go through, of course. I think normally it should be in the front somewhere. So here we have also a Big crossing here in this area. Yeah. New Mart, shopping street. Are you on your computer? Does Streamer have a mobile app? No, they don't have a. They don't have a mobile app, but uh, you can just open Chrome on your phone, and uh, then Streamer they support also their service on the chrome on the chrome browser on your mobile phone so if i if i have my laptop here you know that <laughs> would be a little bit heavy to, to carry here around yeah so that, that's why i think streamyard is a very good uh, option uh, for for so for uh, yeah youtubers if you don't have so much subscribers i mean you can also use youtube on the chrome extension on the chrome app and you can simulate a desktop uh, desktop app, and you can also go then um, live, but you can't read comments. So that's the big benefit about StreamYard. You can blend in the comments. Yeah, you just have if you don't uh, make the subscription from the StreamYard, you can have just this uh, what is this called this watermark in the in the corner. But I think this is the the smallest problem, and maybe the yeah, the, the full quality in 4K is not so good, but it's okay. So just use Streamer on the on the mobile on your mobile phone with with Chrome, and then it works. 
uh, again, yeah, so many people. Yes, especially this street. They have a uh, every time they have a lot of people here, a lot of noisy, noisy sounds, and uh, yeah, it's quite a busy, a busy street always. <laughs> yeah, that's really good to know. You can also just test it. Yeah, today, tomorrow, whenever you want. The prices on clothes have discount. I don't know. I think the, the last time I really bought some some clothes is also uh, a longer time. It was a longer time ago, and uh, I can check it like in H and M. But uh, actually, I don't. I don't think so. But I will. I will check it out. Yeah, no problem. It's every time. It's good. We can we can learn from each other. I think I also learned a lot of from your streams, from your experience, and of course you can also learn from from others' experience. This uh, kind of app, actually, I know from a few live streams I did before with uh, with uh, Kali from Nine Pandas, and he always used this uh, yeah, Streamyard extension, and uh, I also saw this on Austin's. Austin in China on his channel, and yeah, so yeah, why not? I can just try it, and then let's see what happens. And today is the first time I use this StreamYard extension, and then it's okay. So now we are here, and then here we have, of course, also Apple Store in in Shenyang. That's a two stories big Apple Store. The Beats headphone. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if I can easily go in the, the Apple store yet um, because I'm not sure if they are so... I, mean, I, I know normally before you need to wear also some, some mask in the, in the Apple store and I'm not sure because last time I want to make some video they say no, 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 no video here and they're a little bit strict here in, 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 in the Apple store. Um, also they walk behind you to check if you want to like to rob something but I can I can check later and I give you a, a feedback um, about the uh, right, about the uh, I think you want to know the price in the for the beats headphones I can show you later some some prices this is no no problem I can just put them in the comments after I end the live stream okay be safe yeah I'm, of course, I'm safe here in the in the Zhongji Street, and I think uh, in the Apple Store. Of course, it's also safe. But now we are coming to an interesting spot. Here we have actually the, the huge H and H and M shop, H and M store. And I'm just also curious. How it looks like inside, but I didn't see any, uh, yeah, big videos at the moment. Where also some people they go through this uh, yeah, foreign, foreign brands and they make some analyze maybe on that. But see what we can find. I hope the connection will be good inside. That the stream is not interrupted like before shortly. So here they also they have some big building projects. So yeah, here's the the H and M shop, and here we have also some yeah, huge new shopping malls, which will be created in the in the future. Ah, but I see there are some people coming coming out at the moment. But no mask required here. And I think the business should be quite normal. So, ah, mask. Okay. So, yeah. Where's my mask? Yeah. Oh, I think here they make. 
different things. Yeah? Foreigners need to wear masks. And uh, Chinese people, they don't need to wear masks. Ah, next place to show is here actually the H&M store. And when I see, I think now I'm, uh, I'm inside and I don't think it is impacting too much. Now here they have uh, one place, mixed place and uh, can go also upstairs. They have normally here then the ladies area. Oh Mara, you mean the next place to visit for my travels? <laughs> This is at the moment. I think I would like to go also to, to Xinjiang next time or to, to Tibet, so a little bit further further away. So I would say all the things are quite normal. So I walk here through. I see more customers than before in the in the Adidas store. So here behind me, I really thought this had a had a bigger impact because I know the stories um, from uh, from Lotte, for example. In which shop I am? I'm in the H and M. I'm in the H and M shop at the moment. So there are still a lot of people inside. So you can see here again the the logo reversed. So I can go shortly down again. Just went up. I have also a lift here for the lazy people. Uh, uh, uh. I thought it's already <laughs> banned in China. No. At the moment it's not it's not banned. All the foreign, all the foreign shops, they are still open. But uh, I think normally in uh, in this kind of shops, you say there are <clears throat> there are less people here. But I think it's quite okay because if you know the stories about uh, Chinese people when they really they boycott something. I remember there was a case with this Lotte, the South Korean brand Lotte, and they also they they go into real estate and uh, they want to build up here in Shenyang the so-called Lotte Castle, and this project now uh, yeah, totally totally failed. So here you can see again, actually for, for me it looks okay from the amount of people here. So what's my opinion? Where to buy clothes in? Songji or in Taobao. Um, I prefer actually both. If you want to have really some some cheap clothes for the for the winter time, for example, or also for the yeah for the summertime, it doesn't matter which season. And you 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 know what you want, then you can just buy it online on JD or on Taobao. Or you want, for example, some some cheap brands, then you can just buy it uh, online. But uh, yeah, if you have time and you want to go on a shopping day, it's, if it's a rainy day or if it's uh, uh, how to say rainy day or a good summer day where you can also eat some ice cream or something, then I would also prefer to go shopping in a, in a shopping mall. But of course, you you are you are tending to buy maybe more <laughs> than when you buy things online. Also, at least it's for me. It's for me like that. Normally, if you go to a shopping street like here, like Songji, then you will definitely buy maybe more than if you just buy it online. Chinese people boycott H and M. Yeah, that's that's uh, for sure. I think I don't know how high might be the percentage, but I'm I think also that uh, some of them. They are doing that. They also, yeah, you can see some videos. They burning the clothes. They burning the shoes. Yeah, from for, from Nike or the the H and M clothes. What they have in their in their cabinet. But uh, generally, 
um, I don't know how much is the percentage of people they still go to the H&M. Maybe now also it's cheaper. I'm not sure. So, and what else do we have here? Yeah, I also want to go shortly to the to the me shop because uh, here the me shop they make uh, also a big renovation and uh, they make now two floors. It's the five number five thousand shop of the me shop in in China. So they have now yeah, 5,000 or already more than 5,000 shops. They're expanding also fastly to, yeah, to Europe, Spain, Germany. And so behind, you can see we have here also a Burger King, this mask, and uh, the me shop. Yeah? So they have here two, two floors. And then I want to see, they also require me a mask. And this was now something interesting. Yeah, Go to H&M, into the shop, you see a lot of Chinese people, they have no mask, and then this guy, mm, make your mask on your face. But I think normally they don't wear, they don't wear the mask, they, although they don't check the temperature. Uh, see through the... Comments. Uh, we should, we should Chinese brand as well. But if we do this, it's called racism. Uh, yeah, it's always like that. What I am doing in Shenyang, yeah, I'm I'm working here. I have a Chinese uh, working contract, but for a German for a German company. We have a German in Germany the company, and then I have a, just a Chinese contract so I earn my money in, uh, in yuan so I'm just working so H&M what is the next comment H&M should leave China they echoing as lies about senior cousins same this brand yeah I'm, I'm not sure uh, for, for the for the videos what I just see in yeah there are a lot of foreigners at the moment yeah they they go to to Xinjiang to check it out. That's why I also would like to go to Xinjiang to to see what is what is the situation there. But of course, I will not go yeah directly to the cotton fields. And uh, yeah, for the political side, um, my channel is not so much about politics. I just want to show more and more about uh, China and especially about Xinjiang, about the lifestyle here, the culture, and this kind of things burger king is chinese as well okay i didn't notice i thought it's the american brand ah, yeah. <laughs> every time some people they say very often hello only the brand belongs to burger king usa okay this i also i didn't notice but it's always interesting interesting to know about it yeah. so now we can take a look so here's actually the end of the Songji, Songji street so here behind me this is yeah they have still here some some decorations a statue and uh, that's the end So and then we can check, we can have a look here at the meat shop. This is a new shop here. So they make here the temperature detection by this small little scanner. And uh, yeah, and you can see what they have here inside. So here they, they display the new Xiaomi fold. You can see this maybe here a little bit better. So this is, I think, Xiaomi's first foldable foldable phone so what else for comes Burger King sold all shops to Chinese investors in 2015 or 2016 okay just the time when I when I first came here thank you for showing yeah no, no problem I think this will now here be my my last address in the in the me shop and maybe I have a short look also to the Huawei shop 
and but here yeah, this is a brand new decoration a brand new shop uh, the phone how much does the phone cost normally the phones they are here roughly between you can say you can get a very cheap phone actually around 2000 RMB but here we have some phone like the 10s for 3000 800 RMB, 3,500 RMB, and I need to check the, I think this is the, the new phone, the Mi 11, for 4,000, 4,000 RMB. We have here, we have here also the Mi 11 Ultra for 7,000 RMB, then you have directly 12 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabyte of storage space. But here you can also have a, this, I think this, yeah, Xiaomi 11, the smallest version for just 2,300 RMB. And then what is the, they don't share here some pricings for the, for the Mimix Fold. We have just here some, some watches. So here they also they have actually a big staircase. It's like in a in a university um, where they can uh, show some um, show some events. And here, yeah, this was also a very interesting TV. You know, this is this transparent TV here on this side. But for me, I'm, I don't know any use case for me actually. I mean, if you have a transparent TV. It's nice to have, but it's also very expensive for 50,000 RMB. Yeah, no problem, Marat. So let's head up. Let's see. So it seems they also they have uh, they have new clothes. Before they had some some red some red clothes. Yeah, me. They also changed their, their logo. So then they can make here some. Presentations. It's the beamer on the wall. So they have here also they sell everything. So Xiaomi is not only a it's not only a phone brand. It's also a smart home brand. So you can see actually they also sell power banks and. Uh, yeah, power bank smartphones, of course, computers, laptops, then uh, also home supplies and uh, routers, lamps, and uh, most of the thing is it's all it can be all controlled yeah, from one Xiaomi app. So if you want to have a a whole smart home, a total smart home connection then uh, you can go the Xiaomi way. Because you can connect everything with each other. So here behind they have some laptops. They have also uh, air, condition, air conditioning. Refrigerator, microwave, uh, everything behind. Red meat quality is not good, yeah, but I cook rice with my Xiaomi rice cooker. Yeah, I, I don't have yet a Xiaomi rice cooker, but for, for, for me until now, uh, meat quality was okay. I have also this kind of Amazfit smartwatch, but I need, it, I need to send it already one time for service. What else I have at home? Um, I think the rice cooker, the rice cooker not. Also, the, this water heater node, yeah, they have here everything. They have water heater, fridge, rice cooker, aircon, mixer. Should buy a rice cooker? Yeah, I have a, I have a rice cooker, but it's uh, from, from another Chinese brand. Yeah, the rice cookers, they are always uh, important. Every Chinese family, of course, they have rice cooker. You have two, yeah, one in Europe and one in China. Uh, where are you now at the moment? You are in, you're in China or you're in Europe? In, in Europe. Also, 
interesting for me to know. So what else is here? I think we can go down. And here they have the, the new K40. Now at the moment, I make the video with the K with my K30. But I heard that uh, yeah, also Xiaomi now they stop supporting uh, Android and Play Store. So I think I can't use Xiaomi in the future anymore. So Huawei will be also difficult for for foreigners in China at the moment. So I guess <clears throat> I have to, or I will maybe buy again a phone in Germany or I have to buy a Samsung. But I, I think if you know you buy a Chinese phone in China, it's difficult to get all this yeah, Play Store, Play Services and this kind of things to, to work. As you need a VPN actually first or you transfer all the data by a uh, data share. So if you want to buy a phone in China, you have to set it up by yourself. So, okay, you're at the moment in, in Europe. If you have a plan to come back to China, maybe you have you, you also work in a, in a foreign company. So Mr. Gadget Buzzer said, yeah, Xiaomi is like Samsung. Yeah, Xiaomi, they, of course, they make also phones. Samsung makes also, I think, the whole home supply. They are, I think, from, from, from the technology, they are quite uh, similar. So, okay, you're waiting to get your BioNTech vaccine. Yeah, at least uh, what I heard now is that the BioNTech vaccine is uh, yeah, at least more efficient than the Chinese vaccine, which only has an efficiency at the moment between uh, five or 10 percent i think the connection inside the shopping mall maybe not so good so samsung is much much better okay i'm i'm a xiaomi fan actually from the yeah from the from the beginning uh until now i never had a samsung phone but i think my next phone might be a Samsung phone. Ah, okay. Never, never worked in in China. But I guess if you have a rice cooker in China, you might have maybe a Chinese. I don't know some Chinese relations in China. Narada, you should wear a mask. Also for my health. Yeah, I think we we should uh, push ourselves everyone a little bit more to 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 normality and uh yeah normally i i think that here the situation is already so much more um yeah better that if there is no mask required you should really start to yeah to 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 get back to the to the normal state because this is also how it was before and uh, if we all run around our whole entire life with this mask, then it's also not so good for for your immune system. I think it's like the kids, you know. Nowadays, they they grow up with uh, with all this, yeah, protection and uh, you know the the virus killing stuff. And uh, I'm I'm a friend of of uh, the theory, yeah, or to say that if you keep your kids outside, they can play in mud and dirt, you know, then this will really improve their immune system and later they will have a much, much healthier life. Oh, Chinese vaccine is 50%, okay, because what I read is it seems that it's much, much, much lower, but 50% is also good. What I just think is that, uh, that, that the Chinese um, government, that they will, I think, prefer uh, to leave to let people inside uh, which will receive the Chinese vaccine. So, of course, if you have BioNTech or Astra vaccine, then they might consider more about your visa than if you have, for example, this, yeah, this Sinovac vaccine. But this is yeah, just a preference of the government. I think it could be also the way, the different way around that Germany says, hey, I prefer 
the people they have this BioNTech vaccine on their later maybe on their vaccine passport than uh, another vaccine from another country. Uh, vaccine, how much does it cost? At the moment, um, it's uh, yeah, it's free. So um, I'm at the moment uh, in uh, in the in Shenyang, in the EU zone where I'm working, and they are preparing already some questionnaires for the employees who want to get the vaccine. And uh, I said also, yeah, for me, I, I will also get the Chinese vaccine. And a few people of our company, they get already vaccinated in the, in the first wave. And this was last Friday and we will get it for free. And also uh, a friend of mine here from um, Yanji, uh, Rudy, he also got the vaccine already and it was also for free. So every, every vaccine is good for Chinese government. Yeah, of course, if you have, doesn't matter if you have the BioNTech or the, uh, some other vaccines from Astra, of course, every vaccine is good for the Chinese government or the vaccine from Russia. But uh, later, I think it will, it will show for, for which, which vaccine uh, can, can really be yeah, accepted. I think this could be also maybe some discussions in the in the upcoming in the upcoming weeks or until the summertime at least. Yeah. Okay. Now I have still some time. I think we can extend still the the live stream to one hour at least, as the as the connection in the building is not so good. We can just still walk. A little bit more around to see to see more people. Oh. Chinese are always friendly. Every time I get so many hellos. So we just walk a little bit back again. If you have any other questions, you can you can ask me anything. Uh, what he said. Uh, if I were you, I would think about. The Chinese vaccination, in the vaccination, they are only chemically killed viruses. This I, I'm not sure, but as I'm in China, I think the only, the only vaccine what I can get really is the, yeah, the, Chinese, the Chinese vaccine. And uh, I think until we are all can get back out of China without having problems to come, come back without this quarantine, Take some, it takes some time, but uh, yeah, you, you never know how it will affect you. I mean, this Astra, this had also now some some bad reputations. What you can, what you can read in the, a little bit in the news, and of course they they still using it. And yeah, so this here some some other events. Hmm. So, let's take a short look forward from the camera. So you can see here uh, a lot of people walking. So here now we went in from, from the other end. Now we can still walk a little bit back. Very sunny day. So what they have here, a medical medical center. Let's see if we can go into some some streets where they have some some street food. On oh, the front there's really a big crowd coming now. Oh, I remember here last time I have also some videos where it was a 
burning here. Yeah, they had here in this uh, in this corner. They had a, a big fire. Ah, where's my wife? <laughs> my wife actually she's at the moment in Beijing until Wednesday. She uh, she has a, a video recording about uh, the Yoga Alliance. I also asked her maybe she can give me some videos. It'd be also interesting to see because uh, uh, beside her study, what she's doing here at the moment from China in in Ireland, uh, she's also a, a professional yoga teacher. So she has also education in into that, and now she's in Beijing at the moment to do some uh, yeah some some videos for for their company. So that's why until Wednesday, I have a lot of free time to uh, yeah to edit also some videos. I have also some videos upcoming uh, when I went to uh, to Chinese weddings last year in November, October. Then uh, this year also in that we went on a wedding on uh, in Dalian. So I still have the footage, but I had no time until now to to edit this properly. And that 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 now we're back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, And, um, I think it works again. Uh, also, they they prefer Astril. I don't know what you guys can recommend me because for some upload speeds it's not so um, stable. And of course, you need upload for live streams. And uh, yeah, to the other topic, yeah, my wife, interesting. Yeah, she she normally she would be now in in Ireland, but uh, when the pandemic started last year, she already subscribed to the university in in Dublin. And um, then, yeah, you know, pandemic stuff and things. And then she had the chance to study everything online from, from China. So they use Brightspace as a streaming platform. And uh, yeah, then she has actually her studies, you know, from, from the Chinese time in the evening until sometimes midnight at one, one o'clock. And, uh, but it's okay. I mean, uh, at the end, what is counting is the, is the certificate. I mean, she also would like to have the uh, experience to, to live in, in, in Ireland. I think after pandemic, when we can travel around, it would be also, of course, a place which I would like to visit. Yeah. And then let's see. So I said we want to see some Chinese street food screen. I think I found one there a little bit hidden sometimes. So and then, ah, okay. It's just it's just a small street here behind me. So they sell different different foods like uh, you know, they have here barbecue and uh, I think mostly here is some some barbecue food, street food. But there are also some much, much bigger street food streets, especially when you come out in the nighttime. Um, so 
So next question, you need to blend in. It takes a little bit of time. So you're asking if she will leave China after the pandemic. No, at the moment it's not planned. Um, so sh uh, we will stay here in China for the for the moment. And uh, she uh, she would like to try to find later uh, a job, also in a in a, UC, in a university, to um, yeah to do the, to do the teaching actually. So she has later the certificate from overseas for this finance and accounting and then she can apply here in a Chinese university um, for, uh, for a job also then as a, as a teacher. Where is, where is Chao Kao? Yeah, I just show a little bit Chao Kao. One street we had a little bit of around and I think here behind me we have also we have also barbecue. Yeah sometimes it just takes a little bit time until the comments they blend in. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I think you can, you could still hear me later. I need to check for my live stream how it really looked like when I lose the connection. Ah, it's really, yeah. I don't know if you guys have some VPN examples. I would be happy to know about it, which are maybe more stable. Okay, so it. Yeah, I also I also love barbecue, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, humanity should less should eat less meat a little bit, and also this all this fried stuff normally is yeah as you said not as healthy as you as when you eat more vegetables. But yesterday we also we went on a on a little company tour, and uh, I want to avoid also sometimes a little bit. To eat every day, some some only meat, 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 yeah. And uh, but they had no meat, uh, no meatless uh, food on the menu. Yeah, this is also sometimes very. I would say it's difficult. Maybe if you are uh, a total vegetarian, you can eat tofu here. Yeah, they have a lot of tofu things, also vegetable vegetable soups. Um, but uh, the meat actually here is very very much in 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 every dish also maybe it's different in the south but at least here in the in the north of china uh, we have a lot of um, meat in every dish so i'm still on the on the way to search we are more and more people I think later in the evening there will be also again more and more people when it's getting dark. Mm, I think this street is a little bit. Ah, yeah, this is the new street here. So here they have also. So here we have also. A lot of barbecue yeah, for live stream. I think you need a Samsung phone with large RAM and space. Yeah, I think this will be my next target. That for for live streams, I definitely I need some something bigger. So and here you can see also all the street food again. You always to pay attention. For more and more people here are coming. Yeah, I love Chinese food either. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter is it uh, vegetables and or or meat. I think everything can be tasty. Just uh, yeah, sometimes you know we have some German German visitors, and they only know their schnitzel and spätzle and um, yeah, this kind of things. And, uh, and at the beginning, they don't know they don't know what they should eat. Yeah? So that means they come here and they they can't really eat so much Chinese food um, because they don't like it. Yeah? So. If you're really a hardcore European food eater, then it might be difficult to get used to the Chinese food. But of course, we have here also some uh, German restaurants. So if these people, they are hungry, they can still get uh, uh, some food. So here we're actually also in a new build up processing um, little street. So they have here also some kind of uh, Temple, I don't know what is this? What is this place? They have here also some traditional, traditional shops. It's a little bit, a little bit hidden. And I think I walked here also through once in uh, in the night. So in China, I prefer China food. Yeah. For for me too, but if you really if you have a restaurant, if you can find a restaurant owned by a owned by a real European owner, like pizza, Italian restaurant, or Indian restaurant, or Indian food, then it can be uh, yeah like the original. Ah yes, here's the the new the newest street food street. You just need to search a little bit. I think in the nighttime here it's a little bit easier to find some some uh, street food because everything is more enlightened. The Europe Chinese food is pretty bad. Yeah, it, it just tastes different. Yeah. So my, my parents they also they love the the Chinese the Chinese food, but it uh, it's more I would say it's more sweet much more sweeter in, in Germany. But what I prefer in Germany is the duck, you know, because as you know, in China, they, uh, they have this uh, star starvation cooking style. So they, they use from the animal, they use everything. And uh, they, they eat also bones and uh, a lot of fat, what also gives some taste. Yeah? But uh, in, in Europe, when I go into the Chinese restaurant, I prefer actually the, the duck because you have no bones, you have a few meat inside, it's crunchy and it's super tasty, yeah. So I eat very rare European cuisine in China. Everything is overpriced. Yeah, a uh, few, few of them, of, of, uh, of course. So uh, every Wednesday, we have actually a burger bus coming up from And uh, I think they, they, um, they want to have 60 RMB for a, for a burger yeah, for the size like this. So it's, it's, it's overpriced, but I think they also, yeah, they are also, of course, using the situation that there is no alternative in China. So <clears throat> let's try again to walk through to show some food. So like in the night markets, they have uh, also here some, uh, yeah, they, they dress up a little bit and uh, have here some barbecue mostly, some schnitzel on the stick. And the good thing is, yeah, in China, the, the portions, they are small yeah you know, the portions they are small so you can just go through the street and you can eat one shop second shop third shop and uh yeah you can you can have everything what you want to eat but mostly it's barbecue 
Let's see if I can find something else. They have here some, some tofu. They have here some bubble tea. Pancakes. Here they have some, some wraps. This is something what I prefer sometimes. Here this Taco James. To have some, yeah, they have a little bit more vegetable inside. Cleaning lady need to go. And then here we have also some deep fried stuff. Here also some some tofu here in the in the soup actually. And here a lot of the octopus octopus seafood. So let's check again through the street. Hello. I know other Chinese live streamers, if you also get so many greetings every time, it's really funny for me. Normally in every, in every video, what I do, um, some people, they, they normally, they greet me and uh, very, very friendly. So here they have also like a small stage. So and then here they still do some renovation. So build up to this kind of street. Sorry, my South Chinese girlfriend is on my phone. <laughs> yeah, South South China. I was also already there. I think the food is, of course, uh, super different from the North Chinese cuisine. But now, yeah, she can she can see some of the North Chinese food before. So, and that's mostly it. So we are here at the other side of the shopping street and uh, then you know, there are just a little bit small shops and, but that's basically everything from today yeah. if you have any further questions then uh, you can just ask me whatever you want and then I hope in the future I can make more stable and more live streams and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, i wish you a nice sunday and don't forget to subscribe hit the like button like everyone would say and uh, see you in the next stream huh? bye bye